Hey guys and welcome to AK Pro Films, your source for tech tutorials and more. And on this video I'm just going to give you a little sound trick that can be found in system preferences and just a small one that you might not know of. So I'm just going to take a little break from Xcode and give you this very quick and easy Mac tip and trick. So stay tuned. Alright, so let's jump right into this tutorial right away. So what we want to do is open up System Preferences. And we want to go to Hardware, and under that there's Sound. So let's click on that. And so you can see we have three buttons here. You can either adjust the sound effects, the output, or the input. So you can change what device you want to record sound with, such as the input. I'm using the Yeti Stereo Microphone here. And you can also change the input volume like this. So watch as I change the volume. So you can do that, so if your mic is a little softer, you can drag the slider up to increase the audio. You can also use the audio port for the sound output or the input. So right now I'm using the output for some uh, speakers on my desk, and you can change the output volume right here. So you can just adjust that just like that. It's very easy. So you can also adjust the sound output so where the sound is going to. For instance, I'm using headphones. You can change that according to what you would like. You can also change the balance down here for the selected device. You can also use that audio port for whatever you want, as I just mentioned. You can also change the sound effects. So if you don't like this sound effect, I think this is a pre-installed one. You can change that according to whatever sound effect that you want, such as these. So just to give you a little taste of what these are, I just played a couple of them. You can also choose to where, or you can also choose where to play the sound effects. For instance, I'm uh, putting the sound effects through my headphones. You can change the alert volume, and you can change these settings down here. And if you need some help, you can press on this question mark. So the really cool thing I found on YouTube and a Google search is that you can change the volume to a precise volume instead of this. So it makes more sense if I show you. So what you want to do is press Option, Shift, and you can adjust the volume. So when you look at that again, you can see how the sound is being changed. So look at this. So it looks pretty cool just like that, how you can change the audio. And yeah, you can just change them just like that. So if you want the volume louder, you can adjust it like this, or you can just use the uh, volume buttons and just change them like normal. Or you can use the keyboard shortcut option shift. So that's a pretty cool way how to change the volume to your precise liking there. And it's very helpful for when you just want to change the volume softer or louder just to that precise variable there. So that's pretty cool how you can change the volume there. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and comment below. More Xcode videos coming your way, so stay tuned. And if you want more Mac tips and tricks like this, please let me know in the comments. And also go to my Twitter page at AK Pro Films and my website. The links will be in the description. So thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in my next video. Stay tuned.